What's going on, Infant Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what? For a chance to get a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So we're in the car right now. We're currently at the vet. Um, kind of like a weird start to the day. First vlog being back from Jamaica. Not so much the best one, but this is something that we had planned already, as you guys know, if you guys watched our previous videos. Today is Blooper's surgery. So today he is going to be getting four cysts removed along with him getting neutered. They told us to drop him off between the hours of eight and nine in the morning, which right now it's 8.43. And they said that we'd be able to pick him up around four in the afternoon. As you guys can see, he's pretty calm right now. He's a little shaky. I don't know if it's because he's cold or he's like a little nervous because he knows where he's at. But Nene, you okay? You okay? Uh -huh. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. Stressed. I don't know okay, what that means. Baby. I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh my baby. You gotta be a big boy for daddy, okay? Okay? Aww. Well, you gonna give me a hug? You gonna give me a hug? Give daddy a kiss. Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Give daddy a kiss. Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Come he on, give me a kiss. You. Oh, oh thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Nene. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and call them and then let them know that we're here and we're gonna hand off bloopers, so we'll catch you guys when we hand them off. So we just dropped him off. Mama had to be strong because mama, mama cries for everything. Right, you handled that really well. I'm really surprised you didn't cry. Give me some. Give me some. I'm really <laughs> I proud just, of that. I just felt like if I did cry, like he would feel it, and I didn't want him to be worried. So mama had to be strong. Guys, he's like in the best reviewed vet around like our area, like five star vet kind of thing. I did a lot of research before choosing this place. So and also like the people in there, you saw like how caring they were when they took him over and all that. Like I feel like he's in really good hands. Yeah, I also feel like he's in good hands. Like the girl who took him was very loving and I feel like I feel more comfortable with handing my dog to someone if they're dog people and they like dogs. So it's not just her job, you can tell that she really like liked him and I, that just gave me some comfort right there. Right, and we also asked that after the surgery if the doctor could please give us a call just for like peace of mind to let us know how the surgery went and all that. They said they just do that by default. That's something that they just routinely do. So I was like, okay, great, perfect. And then with that call, they'll also let us know what time we can pick them up. But in the meantime, we're actually trying to find a diner right now. I remember seeing one, I just don't remember where. I'm trying to figure it out. But we're gonna grab some food. Afterwards, we're gonna hit up like Petco or PetSmart, whichever one it is that it's called, I forget. We're gonna try to get Blooper some good old treats. And what else do you think? He needs a new He like, needs a uh, new tag, tag. Right? Yeah, yeah, because our like our stuff. updates, yeah, their updates haven't been made with our phone numbers and his is like chipping off anyway. So we need a good one and that's pretty much it. So we'll see you there. I found the diner. It was exactly where I thought it was. I'm a human GPS, right, babe? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. So we're here to bring me down. Oh my gosh. We're here you, to put me down. You know that you be getting lost. You'd be like, oh, I think I missed the exit. Oh, wow. Like being shocked. Like you missed Stop it. Stop exposing me, bro. No, All right, you whatever, you whatever. Everything. We made it to the diner, okay? So I'm going to surprise you today. I don't think I'm getting chocolate chip pancakes. What? I think I'm getting blueberry. Blueberry slaps. Blueberry does slap. It really do. It Tastes really so good, make you want to slap your mama. Period. That's right. And I think I'm going to get a side of bacon with that. Maybe some toast. Okay. We're Maybe. Feeling, we're feeling a little froggy. Froggy? Yeah. What do you mean? You're going to leap for the toast. All right, guys. We'll see you inside. <laughs> Blueberry pancakes for the win, Janice. Uh, Told you I was switching it up. I didn't even get what I said I was gonna get. Really? I said I was gonna get what? Blueberry pancakes, toast, <laughs> and like sign up. <laughs> Bro, I got blueberry pancakes with some home fries and an apple juice. Yeah, but you got what you said you was gonna get. What are you talking about? No, because I said I was gonna get like toast and whatnot. I don't even know what I said anymore. I don't know. I don't care. Guys, he literally ate like this much. All right, see? <laughs> they already know I have trouble finishing my pancakes. This is why I don't even show you guys anymore because you're gonna be like, you didn't even eat. Guys, I like pretty much cleaned my plate. Yeah, you did. You might as well have licked it. <laughs> That's how clean your plate was. <laughs> Anyway, guys, so we're done here with breakfast. Um, now we're gonna head over to Petco, PetSmart again, whatever it's called, Yay! and we're gonna get Nene some stuff. We're gonna spoil <laughs> him, and we'll see you guys there. Is it me or did they change the, the way the sign looks? That, that, that's a different logo. They definitely did. Right? They yeah. changed it. This is why I began mixed up, man. They be, <laughs> they be changing stuff without telling me. They gotta run that by me first. Okay, well, who gotta tell you? The city? Well, whoever. 
Okay. Maybe the dog and the cat on the logo. All right, I'll they make some calls. Me. I'll make some calls. All right, you do that and you make sure that they contact me. And then okay. I'll have my people contact your people. Okay. All right, sounds good. Let's get in there. All right, Janice, so what are we starting with first? We are starting with toys. He already has enough. Sorry. Thank you. Let's go. Bro, but he has like five. Mm -hmm. I want to hear it. All right, sorry. <laughs> so oh I want to get him one of those pulley toys because at night he gets really hyper and he likes to play. So like he'll grab it and then we'll have to pull it back. But whenever he grabs it, his saliva's all over. So maybe we could have a pulley one so he doesn't grab on the pull part. It's nice and juicy. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> what should we get him, Infinite Fam? I don't, I don't even know. know. What about that blue one? What's that, what's that over there? It looks like a squid. What is that? Oh, I don't even that? know what this is. I don't know what that is either. It looks like a squid. It looks like a rabbit. Yeah, a rabbit with those long legs? Oh, I, I think not. Look, look, look. This stuff oh, is nope, coming nope, out. Nope, 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 damaged. Nope, nope, nope. Didn't he oh, used to have this one? one? He used to have look, one. Oh, yeah, he did. What happened to this one? I think it broke. Did it? Mm -hmm. I think Bear broke it. Of course, Bear. <laughs> what do you think about this one? All right, as long as it's not shedding. This one's not shedding, I checked. All right, so let's do that one then. Okay. Let's see. Does Can it squeak? we get him another one? Does it squeak? Oh, yes, sir. He's gonna love this. Yes, one. sir. Ski. Oh, yay. All right, so we'll get that one, and I think that's it. He has enough. Oh my god, all right, fine. Maybe we get him another one of these. All right, so what color is it? Yellow or the green? Green and green? I guess. I don't, I don't know. You taking charge here because I feel like if I Let's say something, yellow, you might hit me. Because it looks like him. All right, fine. Did you just you come about yellow? I said, if I feel like if I say something, you're going to hit me. I'm not going to hit you. You've been, you've been coming at me crazy. I don't know. I give you this, the look. The look is enough. That's scary enough. Exactly. I'm scared for what's after the look. No, I don't think Nana is yellow. I just think that he has like a cream beige color. You know what I mean? You got a cream beige color. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know, bro. But anyway. He gets right. it from his mama. <laughs> he got two <laughs> toys. All right, on to the treats. Mother Janice over here doing her thing, looking up ingredients and whatnot. What are we dealing with over here? What are these? So these are animal cookies. Ooh, animal crackers for the little nene. Yeah, but I'm looking at the ingredients and everything looks good. It's like wheat flour and stuff like that. I feel like it's not super healthy. So this may be like an occasional snack if I do get it. But we'll see, we'll see. Now we gotta get him those other little chicken squares that he likes. Yes, he loves those. I think that's in the other aisle, but right, we're so, gonna get that. Yeah, let's go get that first. I have to think about this. The only thing that they had that we usually get them were these birthday cake treats. Other than that, we had to switch it up a little bit. So we got some freeze-dried chicken breast treats. I'm very curious about that, but Janice over here insists on getting it. Yeah, because he likes chicken, so I want to give him something chicken. I'm sure he'll like whatever you give to him, honestly, because <laughs> he eats everything. But Then we have these right here. These are salmon. I usually get the chicken flavor, but we're going to try salmon now. It's supposed to be really healthy for dogs, but I was a little bummed out that they didn't have the chicken ones. Yeah, and then we just grabbed these two toys like you saw, and I think now we're going to head over to make his little collar so i'm excited for that let's do it <gasps> all right guys so we just made it back home and janice over here is in her feelings because <laughs> over here you can see his little paw prints from this morning and obviously he's not here right now because he's getting his surgery but janice just got in her feelings real quick i'm trying really hard not to cry <sighs> it's all right we're gonna get a call very soon and we'll be able to pick him up sometime later in the afternoon <laughs> it's not soon it's it is gonna, soon just don't think about it it's 11 o'clock they said four. Don't think about it. I'm not thinking about it. I need a distraction. I need to be doing stuff all day, so I don't think about it. Right, call, call your mom or your dad. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go call. To I'm gonna call my dad. <laughs> All right guys, so Janice is currently sitting on the couch talking to her dad right now. I'm kind of like just leaving her alone, letting her be in her zone with her dad because he's got her distracted, which I actually like. But just a few minutes ago, the vet actually called me when I was over there with her. Surgery went well, thank God. I wanted to get the phone call on camera, but we were like so eager to hear like what happened, how the surgery went that I just picked up the phone. But overall, the surgery went really well. He's waking up from the anesthesia just fine. They removed all the cysts. He also got neutered and they also clipped his nails as just part of routine whenever a dog has surgery. So overall, everything went great we should be able to pick him up in about like five or six hours from now i'm super excited to go see my little boy but yeah guys just wanted to give you a quick update we'll pick up the camera again when we're on our way to go pick him up i can't wait to see him guys so this is the moment that i have been waiting and like not excitedly waiting for dreading dreading that's that's the word i was looking for i have been dreading this moment since I found out that he had to get surgery because I don't want to see him in any pain or like, I don't you like him. You want the worst thing already. 
You already went I know surgery. that, but it's like, this is, I feel the healing part of surgeries is the worst part. I don't feel like the surgery itself is the worst part. I feel like the scariest part was him reacting to the anesthesia and how he would wake up and all that, which the vet said that he woke up perfectly fine. He's waking up comfortably. You know, he's chilling right now. I know, but still, like, I just don't want to see him hurt. That's all. Brace your eyes because you're going to see him. You know, obviously with like stitches and stuff like that, but I know. everything went well. So, I mean, that's the positive. That's the bright side about everything. Yeah, I know that it, everything's fine. It's just like me as a mom seeing, like, you don't want to see your babies hurting. <laughs> like, you don't. So that's really all that it is. Like, I'm happy that everything went well and I'm really like trying to be positive. And I think I've been pretty positive so far. So I feel like this is just the moment. I just hope my baby still has his personality. I don't want him to be so down and gloomy how, and in pain. How would he lose his personality? Because I'm just saying, like, I don't want him to be doing like gloomy and like he's upset. He's gonna be all tired and stuff. He's from he's off the anesthesia, so it's like you know he's not gonna be himself for a couple of days. I don't know, but oh, let's go pick up my baby. All right, guys, so we got Mr. Nene. As you guys can see, he is okay. He has a couple of stitches on this side that are pretty crazy. You probably can't really see them, but yo, Janice didn't cry. No, I saw him and I was just like, his incisions are amazing. This is what I mean when I say I wanted him to keep his personality. He, they, The doctor said that he was like freaking out because he wasn't home. And I'm like, yeah, that's my nene. <laughs> yeah, now he's like, guys, he's going to be like really like groggy and drowsy for like the whole night. So this is why, he, you know, he looks like all calm with his like tongue out and whatnot. But yeah, guys, everything went great. Now we just have to watch him. No hyperactivity for like 10 days. And we have to bring him back in 14 days to remove all the stitches. But they did a really clean job. I'm happy that they didn't make any like bald spots everywhere other than like the big one on his leg on that side over there but i mean you can't really go around that one you got to shave that but everything else is really great we're really loving this vet so like i said guys right now we're on the way home um i'm gonna put the camera down now so i'm not driving and recording at the same time so we'll see you guys back at the house so he's doing really well we just got back to the house obviously he just went up this little ramp that we have for him and he just jumped up and we're like okay he's feeling great these are the stitches right over here this is the biggest incision he's gotten that's what it looks like stitches are really clean though nice and tight uh he has another one on the side of his head over here that little dot i don't know if you guys just saw that <laughs> one right there and he also got neutered down there but we're not going to show that area too much for obvious <laughs> reasons but overall, he's doing really well. He like kind of wants to roam around the house and stuff. So at this point, I think we're going to end the vlog here. So that means now it is time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Sandra too. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for the love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down below, send positive as well. Again, guys, this was a very tough day, I'm sure, for Blooper. But with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.